Hi there guys, my name is Ron, and you can learn make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the white background into a digital backdrop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and uh, here we have the digital background that i created so before we dive into today's video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find these amazing digital backdrops that i created you can find them on my etsy store so here we have our today's image as you can see this couple so first thing first what uh, what we're going to do is that we need to duplicate this uh, just drag and drop into the plus and click here on the object selection tool and click on the cloud details results and just make a selection around the subject or the the partners just like this and click here on the laser tool and just click here on the select mask you can zoom in for example if you want to reduce some of the backdrop color just like this from the here and uh, click ok and just create a layer mask I'm going to zoom in and as you can see the selection wasn't really good so with a white brush and a general uh, soft round brush I'm just going to paint it here on the hair to bring them back just like this so this process is in case the selection is not that good so just paint it over there and uh, bring back some of the information about the portrait so I'm going to do this process in this part too because it doesn't look that good when it's looking that way. So here's a before and here's an after and I think that is looking okay. I'm going to remove this part of the shadows under the shoes because we are going to add it later in the other layer just like this. And I think that is okay. Bring back the information here into this part. And just make another copy of the background. So just drag and drop this into the plus. And here we have our for our today's layers. So uh, just click control and click here. And we are going to move this into the digital backdrop. So click here on the move tool. Click shift. And just put them here into today's digital backdrop which is this amazing waterfall which is looking really good and you can transform this and make them fit for the portrait for example if you put it here they will look fake so as it was here i think that is looking okay now turn on the background copy 2 and switch the blending mode from normal to multiply to add them shadows that are originally there and just transform them and make them look better so here's before and here's after that we added the uh, subject so here we have the multiply uh, and I think that for example as you can see we have some uh, shadows here that are not looking that good because it's looking fake so we need to create another layer mask and with a black brush 100% brush just paint it here to remove this from the digital backdrop that we added so here's before and as you can see we only have the shadows so we are going to zoom in and check a before and after which is looking okay so i'm gonna add another layer here because i'm gonna add some shadows into this part for example under the shoes and under the dress just a little just like this and switch the blending mode from normal to soft light and check a before and after which is looking okay now zoom out and to add depth of field to this uh, image you need to duplicate the background just like this and click here on filter go to the blur gallery and add tilt shift so we need to uh, bring this down because for example uh, when you take a picture with camera Usually the background, if you have a, a lens with aperture by f2.8, f1.4 and etc. Uh, usually the background is blurry. So to recreate this 
thing. Uh, I'm gonna drop this down and increase the blur until I think that uh, the background is okay. So here we have the background, check before and after. And if you think it's too much, you can always uh, lower the blur pixels just like this. Now check a before and after, and I think that is okay. Just click okay. And after we are done with process, uh, it's time to match the colors of the backdrop and the subject. So uh, I think that uh, they kind of uh, match because I don't know how, because uh, there are two uh, different images. But uh, for example, I'm gonna add some color balance to the subject. So just click here on the clipping mask. Or you can have it here and slide this into the left just a little because I think the background or the backdrop is kind of into blue, into cold colors. Just like this, just a little and not too much and lower this just a little. Now click here on the background and click on the color balance. So I'm going to increase the cyan into the red and into the yellow to match it. So here's a before and here's an after which I think is okay. And now that we match just a little better, I'm gonna uh, add some more adjustments to the portrait. So for example, I add some curves and decrease the highlights just like this and click control and click here on the subject with a brush, soft round brush with 100% opposite 100% flow. I just paint it here to remove the curves uh, from the subject as you can see it's looking really good I'm going to decrease it just a little now check a before and after which is looking better now click here on the background and I think that I'm gonna add some like the sun rays or something like that so I'm gonna click here and on the basi basics sorry I'm gonna choose an orange color just like this maybe kind of into the yellow or orange will be better click ok and click on the gradient map uh, gradient tool and just click here and uh, create sorry what's happening i don't know with 100 percent of opposite just make it this uh it's happening because we are trying to do that in the layer mask so it's not gonna happen and just we need an empty layer just like this i don't know what's going on here but i think that we need to change again the color into the orange or yellow and choose the second one and just create this so here we have it and switch the blending mode for normal to soft light or the screen so here we have a before and after which is looking okay i'm going to reduce just a little now check it before and after, which is really good. I'm going to duplicate this and put this on top with 100%. And just click control, click on the subject and delete from the subject, which is looking okay. I'm going to reduce it just a little. And I'm going to leave them as they are just like this. And I'm going to add some more adjustments. So I'm going to click here on the color lockup, color lookup, sorry and check them one by one maybe we can find uh and i think this one is okay but we need to switch the blending mode from normal to lighten and decrease the opacity because we can't have this effect so click again on the color lockup oh what's going on color lookup sorry for that and check them uh, one by one until we find uh one that fits or image or uh and i think this one is okay but we need to switch the blending mode from normal to soft light and as you can see 100 percent of opacity is way too much so i'm gonna go by 25 and just turn on the curves and this one now check it before and after which is looking okay and if you think that you are done with the adjustments or you are not you can even uh, put some more of the uh, uh, color balance or something like that. I'm going to try to make this portrait kind of into yellow, into dark, just like this. I'm going to zoom in and check a before and after. 
and i think that is looking okay but as you can see we have some uh some of the as you can see we have some highlights from the background that we we uh, separated before so i'm gonna click Control and click here on the layer mask and i'm gonna zoom in just a little click here on the select click here on modify and click contract so choose contract by two which is kind of uh, too much so again click on the select click modify contract and choose one pixel click ok and uh, invert the selection Control shift and i get a black brush with 100 percent uh opacity 100 flow and just paint it here to remove that highlight from the background that we separated before and we have it here just paint it over there on the layer mask to remove that so the selection was inside the subject but when you invert it it will be out of the subject and this is the easy way to remove them highlights of the background and as you can see it's here too so now that we are done you can even uh remove them from the dress just like this just paint it without the selection to create some uh more like original shadows just like this and i think that is okay now check a before and after we don't need to do that because it's looking really good now turn on uh, all the adjustments that we did before and uh, for example you can even put them into a single layer let me just uh what's going on here i don't know so here's a before and here's an after here's before and here is an after and in case that you want to do that you can just put the original subject on top of that switch the bloody mode from normal from multiply to normal and here we have our before and after so that's it for this short video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something from me. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because as I said, you will find these amazing digital backdrops that I have created and see you guys in the next one. Peace.